if you're building an MCP server, it might have three tools, it might have 15. And if I were to mind map it for you, you're going to run into three different types of tools. The first are external tools, and all you're doing with those is connecting to them. You're not hosting them, you're not building them. So think perplexity or Slack. The second type is open source tools. You're not building them, but you're hosting them. And the third type are the custom proprietary tools. And those are really where your business value is because that's where you could use historic data, your fine-tuned models, and those you need to build, host, scale. And many of us in the last few months have been playing around with MCP, but as we're moving more to production, you don't want to just scale the whole server. You need to auto scale and load balance each tool individually. And you might be asking, Linda, why? Well, one of them might have high traffic. One of them might be sitting idle. The other one might need a lot of GPU. The different tools have different needs. Now you might be asking, Linda, how do I get this thing to prod in a way that's scalable? And one way is to use Kubernetes and start wrestling with infra. You might be saying, well, I just want to build my MCP server and focus on development. The other way you can do it is actually use an open source Python native framework called Ray with a few lines of code. It will load balance and scale it for you and you could connect it with any compute of your choice. If you want to either just look at the notebooks and the code on how to do that or upskill on how to deploy MCP servers, here's a hands-on lab. Let me know if you try it out or have any questions.